Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how to set up After Effects, Redshift and Houdini to make your compositing. So here I have a scene in Houdini and the first step is to check the settings on the camera. So here I can select my camera and into Redshift camera color correction, you can see the settings I have for OCIO display and the OCIO view. So these settings are set by default, so you don't have to change anything here. So the second step is to go into the out context, into out, and here you can select your redshift drop. So the first thing is to go into main, so here everything is by default. Now you can go into the output. So here into common tab, you can choose the format. So in my case, I will render it in EXR in 32 bits. So you can change the file output here. You can change the format just here. And in my case, I will only change the uh, bit per channel. And by default, it's on 16 bit per channel. So in my case, I will put it on 32. So now I can add some multipass for this scene. So I can go into AOV manager and here I can click on plus. So I can add diffuse lightning, specular lightning, reflections, and I can also add uh, GI and I can add another one for the puzzle mat. So I can go puzzle mat here and I can change from material ID to object ID. So here I can put the red ID into one, the green into two and the blue into three. So in that case, I can separate my different objects in my scene on After Effects. So now we can go into the Redshift tab here. So for the sampling, by default, you can make the settings for your specific scenes. So here you can add motion blur if you want. And into the global tab here, I have my setting for OCIO. You can see the setting is here. So by default, I won't change anything uh, in this tab too. So here you have the setting for the global elimination and so on. So here you can go into the object level here. And now we can assign the puzzle mat for the different objects. So I can assign one for this one. So it will be the red channel for this ring, for example. So I can go into redshift object settings. And here into the object ID, I can type one. So for the second ring here, I can type two. So in that case, it will be the green channel. And for the background, I can put it at three. So now I can open my render view and see the color if everything is good on the render view. So here you can see on the render view, everything looks right. So now you can make your render and in the next part, I will show you how to set up After Effects to get the same color as the render view here. So here I've started a new blank scene on After Effects and the first step is to import our sequence into this project. So let's double click on this part. And here I can select my sequence. So I can click on the first image here and I can click on open EXR sequence. So I can click on imports. And the first step is to match the frame rate. So I can right click and here you can go into interpret footage main. And in my case, I have made the render uh, at 24 frames per second. So I can change that one to 24 and I can click on OK. So now I can create a new composition, but before that we can set the setting of the project. So you can go into here. And I think by default, you have these settings. So now you can change it to match it perfectly for uh, ACES workflow. And here on the color engine, you can change from Adobe to OCIO. And here you can click on OK. So here you can choose your OCIO config, but you can uh, keep that one by default. So here for the bit depth, you can change from 8 to 32 because this is what I've set on Redshift. And here you can keep the working color space to ACES ACCG, and you can keep the display color space to ACES sRGB. So now you can click on OK. And now you can create our first composition, so you can click on that. And here you can give a name, so VDB Growth in my case. So here you can change the size of the composition based on your render settings. So in my case, it's 1080 by 1920, 24 frames per second, and 165 frame length. So I can click on OK. So now you can drag and drop your sequence into the composition. So let's drag and drop that one here. Now we can see we have a slight color difference on our sequence here. So to avoid this problem, you can go into your sequence, right click. And here you can click on interpret footage, main. And into the color tab here, you can change these settings to compositing linear SSCG. And you can click on OK. And now we can see we have absolutely the same color as we have in Redshift. So now if you don't have the same color, you can go into these options and make sure you have ACES sRGB selected. So if it's on none, you have this type of color. So don't forget to change that one into ACES sRGB. So now you can make your compositing here. So you can use extractor to extract the different paths. 
So here you can select, for example, diffuse, and here you can click on Control D to duplicate it, and you can change the mode to add. And here you can uh, just change the, the different paths. So this one is GI. This one is reflection, and this one is specular. So now you can make your compositing on each pass here. And if you wonder your scene like this, you will get a color issue like this result, because this option won't change the color on the final render, but only for the preview here. So now you can keep this option to none. You can add an adjustment layer here. So right click new adjustment layer. And here you can go into the effect and preset tab. You can type OCIO. And here you can select this one, OCIO Color Space Transform, and you can drag and drop into the adjustment layer. And here for the input, you don't have to change anything. The input is SSCG, and the output is sRGB. So you can change it to Color Picking Output sRGB. And now we can see we have the same color as before, and this one is set to None. So now you can export this sequence, and you will get the same result as the preview here. That's it for today guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check artivoxar.com to get premium 3D resources. See you in the next one, bye.